Welcome back to Homestead, Mississippi. I'm going to give you a garden update today. And as you can see, grass is high. It's been a rough week. Week and a half, two weeks almost. The grass has grown pretty high. I mean, it's just jumped up quickly. Not to mention gas prices. So I'll be honest. I've been trying to let the goats get out and mow most of the yard when they're not able to. It just hasn't gotten done because I don't want to pay $4.50 a gallon of gas to mow my lawn. Woo, that's high. That's expensive. I do have some good goats. They do a good job for a small area. For the large area and the fact that we have all of our plants and flowers and everything else growing around, man, it's tough to keep them away. So today I'm having to bite the bullet and mow. So I'm going to clean up this and I'm going to give you, this is the before, I'm not going to give you a detailed before, and then we're going to give you an after view of what the garden looks like. And we're going to walk through and show you a lot of the growth, give you an update. And we're going to do some, some picking of some blackberries. Whew, bugs are bad out here today. All right, let's get to it. All right, it's a hot one, folks. It is a high of 93 out here. That don't sound too bad, does it? But with the humidity, they say it feels like 108. Yeah, it feels 108. It's hot. It's hot. So, I mowed everything. Mima and I, she, she weed eated a little bit in this, this one here. We did it two weeks ago, and uh, it all looked fantastic. So, uh, Everything's grown. We've got some produce growing right now. We've got some beans here and there. We've got a couple of bell peppers. We've got a few okra. And we've got some great looking tomatoes coming up. I'm excited about them. Our muscadines are, are starting to grow, uh, especially the bushes in the front yard. And we've got blackberries. This is, this is where Mima's been working today. She's cleaned up this bed quite well. We've got a few bell peppers. The plants aren't getting very large, but that's okay. We're okay with that. Uh, we've got some good produce growing here. We've got some bell peppers here. We're gonna be, we'll be picking those before too long. And um, then we got some okra. Some of this okra is perfect size right now. Growing right here, this one here. You don't want them to get very large. Once they get large, they get hard and they're not as tender. And uh, my pride and joy besides the cilantro bed, even though there's a lot of weeds still in it, I'm not complaining about it. Here's my pride and joy right here. I planted some sunflower seeds and I didn't know what to expect. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight sunflowers coming up and I am so happy about them. Let me show you this one here. Beautiful, it's gonna have multiple flowers on it. This one here hasn't come up yet. And this, of course, is our cilantro bed. And of course, like I said, there's weeds. But what I'm happy about is you get to see they're flowering. And if they're flowering, they're going to seed. And my goal is for this just to be a cilantro bed and let it just continue seeding itself. And of course, I just, I just passed this sunflower here. Beautiful sunflower. And here's a little bitty one. It went ahead and bloomed, but it's, it's a little bitty one, a short one. And here's some more cilantro. Nice and tall. We still need to get these weeds under control. And here's my, my cucumber patch here. What we did is we took an old, an old corral fence for horses, put it down and made a little lean-to for it here. It's nice and sturdy, ain't gonna go anywhere. And just something for our cucumbers to climb on, or, or rather, I call it my cucumbers. That's, I guess, gonna be my deal pickles <laughs> uh, that never gets old with me sorry 
And then we got the rosemary right there. These cucumbers look pretty, pretty, pretty sorry for a while. They have come back with a vengeance and are looking beautiful. Excited about them. Excited about them. They're going to do great. And there's her time. Here's our beans. Our beans are growing. Mima's got to come in here probably and grab a few out of here. I'll show you. A couple of them are growing in here. And here's one here. Butter bean. And all of them have some produce on them. Here and there. This is one of those beds that needs to be weeded. And our tomatoes. Our plants are doing great. Here's our tomatoes. Our, our plants are doing great. We had this weeded terrifically two weeks ago. And here's one of my babies right here. Nice large baby. And then the one I've been watching for a couple weeks now is this one right up through here. Let me show you. Oh, yeah. Right there. That one, you can't really probably get the size. That one, you can't really get the size of it as well as I can here. But it's about the size of a softball. I'm excited about it. And here's my, my sunflower. Starting to get some stuff here. Some ants going in it. <sighs> Blow them out of there. Small sunflower there. But we have quite a few tomatoes in there. I don't know if you can see them. When they start getting ripe, it's going to be fun. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, my goodness. We do have some that are ripe. If you follow us on Facebook, you'll also notice I've got some of the pictures of these on Facebook beautiful ones these here are a little different than these let's see here if i can yep it just fell right off that one's ready let's see this one might be ready no no if they don't just fall off i don't pluck them i don't pull them beautiful little babies i don't know if you can see through there or not yes i am hot 108 feels like it's 108 so if this falls down and I pass out. Call. Oh, it'll be too late. You'll you only have a video. <laughs> Here's another sunflower. This one's getting ready to bloom. Let's take you around. Show you some more of the. Uh, let's take you on back up here to our. Our blackberries, our blackberries are looking good. And, oh yeah, we've got our butternut squash up here. I think we've got a couple growing already. Let's see here, yeah, we do. Here's the butternut squash. It's looking great. It was looking pretty sad for a while. I don't know if you can see this one right here growing. There's one. Let's see here if we can find another one. There's another one up in there. Let's see here, right there. We got a few of those growing. We got a watermelon patch growing right here, but there ain't no watermelons yet. We've got some flowers, but they're just started. They have just started. And here's our blackberries. They're doing great. Uh, these are the thornless blackberries. That's the one I'm waiting on right there. So we're gonna get a little bushel out of those. And we got a few, we, and on, on these blueberry bushes, they're all small. We're not getting many blueberries, but hey, we got a couple, and I'm going to eat them. <laughs> Look at there. There's one there, but I think this is the one that's ready. Let's see if it just falls off. No, not yet. I'll leave it. Let's see if this one will fall off. No. Nope. That's the key. If the fruit comes off easy, it's ready, ready. If it doesn't, it has a good potential of being sour. So I don't, I don't get it. I leave it. I'm, a, I'm up here every day. So I'm gonna take you and show you some blackberries. Here's some right here. Now keep in mind, these blackberries are the edge of the garden or the edge of the trails. These are the wild ones we're gonna be picking today, not the thornless. Thornless aren't ready yet. Here's some wild ones right here. 
beautiful and black look at there they are ripe and ready we got another little patch right back there let's see here let's just walk through this little trail this is one of my trails back to the deer hunting here's a couple that are black and mixed with the red one still like I said there's not gonna be a whole 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 lot of them that we're gonna be able to pick today but uh you gotta pick them while they're up because if you don't they'll fall to the ground and the animals eat them and you don't get them so we'll pick what we can today and we'll probably come back next Sunday and pick a whole lot more and by then if the boys don't come out here and eat them all because that's the problem the boys come out here and they'll pick them every day and they're out here sn snacking all day long and that's the problem them boys gotta watch them boys in fact they snuck up on me i think they're ready to come out here and do some work let's go see what they're doing out here what you got what kind of tree is that from uh you don't even know that thing's as big as you that's a sycamore boy can you eat it i bet you can get maple syrup from you can't can you I did make that mistake once. When we first moved out here, I saw those. I'm like, those are maple trees. That's, that's tap those things. Get maple syrup. And we did more research and come find out that they're not maple trees. No, no, no. What are y'all doing out here? We came to come help you, boy. Help me work. So you brought help with you? Boy. well guess what it's 108 degrees almost out here that's what it feels like i'm hot the only thing that's left to be done is the weed eating around the edges and then some weeding inside if y'all want to do some weeding inside then y'all can do that but this old fella's going on in i'm hot but uh mama did that one so maya and genesis are here Maya's wearing a little tank top and we don't really like to show that on video. Hope y'all don't mind. Yep. Exposed shoulders. She's fine for out here in the garden for us, but we're not going to put her on, on, on here. So, alrighty. Everybody ready? Y'all can get, get to work. What are y'all doing? Why y'all just standing around? They just stand around. <laughs> what? I was playing with my fingers. Playing with your fingers? Good gracious. Get to work, girl. Alrighty. Later. In just a few minutes. Blackberry picking. We're off. For blackberries. Here you go, buddy. You want to carry it? Come on. We're going to try to fill this bucket. We're going to try to fill this one. Why are you staying so far back here, boy? Why aren't you over there with everybody else? Come on. Woo, it was hot today. It's nicer this evening. It's cooled down in the 80s. Probably feels like it's uh, 99 or something like that. You know, a lot cooler than earlier. <laughs> what are y'all doing? What are you doing? Are you eating that? That thing ain't a blackberry. That's a tiny little drop in a bucket, boy. Two blackberries. Only pick the black ones if they just kind of roll off into your hand. We like thornless blackberries. Ow! A little help? Nobody? No, no. Yeah, what's up? I wasn't kidding. You got, you got something. Yeah. You got leaves right here. Good job, Gabriel. Put them in the bucket. What you got, Maya? Blackberries. 
They're not strawberries. Did you just throw strawberries? <laughs> yeah, I know they're here. One of the biggest problems you have when you go picking blackberries Chiggers, red bugs, chiggers. Yeah, I can't really do much about it. Yep, they're gonna be there. done we didn't get that many really we got enough maybe for one little thing of jelly or something but eh. if we don't do it they're gonna fall off birds or something else is gonna eat them so we'll get what we can we have to come periodically once or twice a week get as many as we can here's the after version of our mode and we did garden. <laughs> nice evening. Nice evening. Beans, beans, okra bell pepper, cilantro, sunflowers, cucumbers, beans, tomatoes, blackberries, 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 blueberries, all kinds of berries, olive trees. After a long hot day, good day working out here in in the garden all over the farm cutting grass mowing getting things cleaned up happy to be done it's gonna be a nice evening it's cooled off somewhat and we'll probably sit on the porch for a little while turn on the fan sit back drink some water relax just hang out kids are probably still a few of those blackberries and eat them y'all be blessed thank you for watching don't forget to be good. Be good to your friends and your neighbors, everybody. It's good to be good. Come back to see us. And if you haven't subscribed, click on that button, subscribe. We appreciate it. See you next time. Maya is eating more than she's putting in the bucket. Don't count them, just pick them. <laughs>